Hi everyone, Thumper here. We're back on our DCS Liberation Mazdoc to My Cop campaign. And we have a big mission we're doing today. This one's going to be a stressful one, so let's, uh, let's pray to the DCS gods that we don't crash halfway through. Um, we're going to be flying F-16. We're going to be doing an escort mission, but primarily a, more of a wild weasel uh, role. And uh, we have, it's turn 13, and we have scattered clouds. So let's go ahead and jump into our jet here. <clears throat> if you are just catching up, we actually passed on turn 12, like we did just a couple of turns ago. Mostly because you'll notice as we start to load in here, once things figure themselves out, uh, we are actually at Mineral Nivodi. So, a little bit of a change of scenery here for us taking off. Got a couple of A-10s, lots of F-14 support here. The mission today is going to be the, the primary objective of all the aircraft that are in the air. We are trying to hit the SA-11 site and SA-10 site as hard as possible. So, we're pretty much trying to saturate the airspace with uh, missiles as much as we can, so going to be a lot of uh, a lot of aircraft carrying JSOWs and a lot of aircraft escorting them. So, unfortunately, everything's going to be moving around pretty much at the same time. So we're hoping that uh, it doesn't doesn't break the game. We have this beautiful F-14 next to us. Uh, some fun news, if you've been kind of following all the videos I've been putting up, I have been spending a little time actually flying the F-14, learning it for the first time. I uh, Previously, I've owned it for a long time, but it's taken me a long time to start actually flying it, just because I've been learning this aircraft, really, for a very long time. I'm finally feeling comfortable enough with this aircraft that I've been branching out into other aircraft, such as the A-10... Uh, the F-18 I've been spending more time in, F-14 I've been trying out. So hopefully, in future videos, we'll see the F-14 make an appearance. I don't know if it'll happen on this specific Liberation campaign. But, we hope to, in the future. A-10s are ready to rock. They're headed to the front line. There's also our Apaches that were at Mineral Nivodi. Got transferred up to the Cherkask Farp. They will be spending a lot of time running CAS as well on this mission. Our job is primary escort, but I'm not going to be able to carry a lot of missiles, obviously. In an F-16, you can carry a total of six missiles into the battlefield. So uh, I'm going to be trying to escort as much as possible, but uh, once I inevitably run out of missiles, I'm going to switch to more of a wild weasel role and try to, I'm gonna try to keep the uh, SA-11 alive, awake, and looking at me as long as possible. And, uh, if it's wasting missiles on me, that means it's not wasting missiles on JSAWs that are going to hit it. Let me go ahead and hit this. I have a trigger cover that I always forget to put back down, so when I put it down, my master arm comes on. you're currently watching this, just know that at this moment, I'm just praying that uh, we don't crash during this. Let's pull up our kneeboard. 
take a look at what we've got. We're at Mineral Nivodi, so our, our actual channel for ATC is 264 now. Our active is runway 30. I think they were taxiing off to the right. Uh, I don't see anyone at the moment, but pretty sure that's where they taxi to. And then our... Yeah, 226 is going to be our overlord, as it were. And 7 is going to be our bullseye. Waypoint 7, so let's punch that in here. And let's take a look. Our takeoff time is 18 minutes in. That's fine. Uh, while we continue to align, let's take a look at our F-10. There is a lot going on over here. A lot of aircraft taxiing. Going to be a lot of aircraft in the air. Uh, as well as over here. Looks like the Apaches are taking off. They're gaining altitude. Are you landing? What are you doing? Uh, okay, they seem to be headed to the front line. Okay. Worried there for a moment. I mean, yeah, there's their waypoint, so... And then here... Yep, we got our A-10s taken off. It's a very long taxiway. And lots and lots of threats here. We also have, additionally, if you missed the planning phase, we have a B-1 that's going to be trying to hit this workshop about the same time that there, our giant strike is trying to hit this SA-11 and this SA-10. So... That being said, let's uh, go ahead and jump back into our first person view here. Let's finish our alignment, put ourselves into nav mode. And let's make sure our comms, well, we're on 264 already. And then I'm sure our second comm, yep, 226 is Overlord. I'm not even going to use Overlord, so that one doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and call our ATC, Mineral Nivodi. Let's Nivodi. request start. Dodge, one, one. Request startup. Dodge, one, one. Mineral Nivodi, cleared for startup. Wind two, five, nine. At five meters per second. And we'll request Nivodi. taxi. Dodge, one, one. Request taxi Minvodi. to runway. mess everything up uh, I meant to equip an ECM pod I definitely want the long pod and let's go ahead and give ourselves a nice skin here request rearming copy Yeah, I want that ECM pod since I'm going to be turning it to barrage mode mostly. Trying to get the SA-11 awake. Rearming complete. Very good. Let's go ahead and run it up. F-16s are all started up there. Pay 
attention to where I'm going. Look at that enormous line there on our HSD. There is other aircraft taxiing, which is good. Sometimes uh, I've had previously where I've taxied incorrectly, you know, like I've taxied at the wrong time without calling it in, and you confuse the AI, so I was worried that rearming my aircraft just now would have done the same thing. But I see aircraft taxiing, so that's reassuring. direction. Enjoy some of the scenery. I haven't spent a lot of time around here since we started the campaign. I've mostly just been looking at scenery that looks flat. It's nice to see some mountains and some clouds even. Very nice. Very nice to have. theory, since we're on 2.8, uh, as we come back to Bodhi, there might be you know, cloud clouds covering the, the airport. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We're coming up to about 20,000 now. We're going to go ahead and level off somewhere up here. Generally in between 20 and 25 is what I'm looking for. F-16 is pretty comfortable around here. Throw on our altitude hold. And we'll come back off our throttle, save some gas. Look at that cluster. Oh, let's hope they don't all kill each other. I'm actually really concerned they might. They all have the same hold point. <laughs> maybe in the future, something to think about is spreading their hold points out, maybe. Apaches are almost to their waypoint. And our A-10s are almost there as well. We have times six Apaches that are going to be doing casts and times two A-10s. That should be pretty good amount to kind of wreck the front line pretty good.
on the side, I'll be monitoring my my uh, task manager here, hoping to get through this mission without any crashes. I'm really, really hoping. Our join is at 32 minutes. Or waypoint 2, we want to be hitting at 32 minutes. So, let's just keep an eye on that. Actually going to track away from it a little bit. Extend our time. That is a lot of aircraft. I I kind of want to F2 it, but I'm worried if I F2 it, it's going to crash us. Every time I click, you see I get that little bit of stutter. A lot of JSOWs. A lot of JSOWs with all those 18s carrying them. I'm going to try to be uh, smart with the F10 menu on this turn because generally all my crashes happen when I start clicking around F10. Beautiful clouds. It actually is really, really lovely to get some some variation here, rather than just clear skies. I would imagine uh, Liberation 6.0 hopefully is going to introduce like controllable weather, which I would like a lot, because I like finding a you know there, there's a limit. I I don't enjoy you know hurricane type weather. It's not quite fun to fly around in. But, you know, just some, like, pleasant little clouds like this. It's great. It's just really great to look at. I'm going to go ahead and throw our ECM into Barrage. I want to go ahead and get that ready. If you don't know, basically, we use an ECM pod and it activates. It's trying to jam radars obviously when you put it in barrage mode it's just constantly transmitting rather than trying to break a lock it's just constantly transmitting and what happens is basically the SAM site knows how far you are right it it knows where to look it, it sees you it just it well yeah it does not know how far you are it knows where you are just not how far you are so it makes everything pretty much look at you. A 
So F-15s are checking everybody out. As in me. They're checking me out. That's okay. That's them doing their job. We're going to track over towards Minvodi. And then we'll start tracking our our ingress. Look at that. That's terrifying. That's like a real mission right there. Oh, the Tunguska. Let's hope these A-10s can hit the Tunguska. It just took out one of our Apaches. Come on. Give him a Maverick. I know you got one. Ooh, that's two Apaches. Two Apaches. One, that Apache wasted its ammo. It's, it's Hellfire. Oh, come on, guys. Don't fly right into the Tunguska. Don't do this. Don't do that. Come on. You're smarter than that. Oh my god. What is he doing? One would hope that's out on the Tunguska. And it is. That'll hit before his missile does. We will start tracking towards our waypoint. Come a little bit back on the power here. Alright, I'm going to attempt an F-10 again. A lot of radars checking stuff out. So I do want to arrive a little bit before I'm supposed to. I am an escort. Go ahead and throttle up a little bit.
This is really a beautiful day on this campaign. I think this is the first mission with clouds. If I'm not mistaken, I'll have to go back through and look. Optimal altitude. Well, we're not getting up there right now, buddy. Just gonna have to wait. For those of you who don't know, this is the cruise page. Uh, it gives us some helpful little items here. That's the desired uh, time on station is 7.32.48. 7 is not even correct. Uh, I believe, yeah, it's freaking like 11 o'clock, but whatever, uh, regardless. We have our desired time on station and our actual estimated time of arrival. So, uh, here we have our ground speed as well. We can toggle this switch here down to ground speed, and the HUD will show us what our ground speed is. 557 knots. So, I mean, we're going to be there early, but that's okay. That's what we want, because we want to kind of try to clear the airspace prior to our allies getting there. There's also a secondary escort also on the same mission as me. F-14s that are going to be performing the same role here. But F-14, AI F-14s don't know how to wild weasel, so... I'm going to go run out of my missiles more than likely, and then it'll be up to the F-14s to clean up any red air. This is probably them I'm getting ready to pass here. They're at 20,000. They're right off my nose. Within five miles. I should be able to see them somewhere here. I don't, though. Oh, here. Here's one. And then... I don't... Oh, yep, there's his buddy. Yep, passing over them. One there. One there. There's our front line. Plenty of destruction down there. I'm going to try to F10 again. Wish me luck. Oh my. That is a lot. That is a lot going on. I'll bet... Everything trying to land is going to be a nightmare. <clears throat> if I die in this mission, it wouldn't it probably wouldn't even be that bad of a thing because a lot of times when I'm RTBing and there's like this much traffic trying to land, I've had I've had some crashes then as well. So hopefully we can avoid that. You're at mill power currently. 13 miles from our ingress. 
And we're going to start keeping our eye out for that pesky, pesky red air. Basically just going to fire at pretty much anything we see. This has got to be allies, I'm sure. Yeah. But those are F-14s. That might actually even be the other escort part of our flight. What are we currently tracking? Our join point. Well, we won't be joining, per se. More of... Clear the way. I guess it's more of a fighter sweep that we're doing. We're actually doing okay on gas. I'm kind of surprised at that because we've been in mill power for like a while now. Everybody get the serial number. These F-14s are just going in. Right up. Allies are catching up to me behind me. So. Go ahead and let the autopilot put me on my target. Let's turn our autopilot off. We are weapons free here. We got 29s looking at us. These are probably these guys off our nose. Uh, I guess they're looking at us. It's either us or a really, really big sweep for the F-14s that are leading us in. Kick our burner. Get our mock speed up. We're over Mach 1. Twenty miles. And I need air to air mode, you dummy. Ooh, well, 
That takes care of that. All right. They're breaking up. I will not get involved unless I need to. What is that? That is barreling down to the ground. That is Uh, there's a lot going on out there. I think these are bullbacks. IFF it again. Alright, looks like those guys are super occupied. So, we're gonna do what I've been intending. Go ahead and flip on that barrage mode, and we'll see what happens. Pullbacks taken off from the runway. But I just want the SA 11s looking at me. Fullbacks that have fired. Oh no, that is the SA 11. Maybe both. Altitude. Who even knows? SA 11, for sure. Tanks are done. We're getting rid of them. Altitude. Altitude. SA 11, we have to kind of defend aggressively. That is not even all that shot at me. Now there's a MiG 29 shooting at me. Getting kind of framey right now. Lots of objects in space. Give whoever this is an AMRAM. That's right, SA-11. Keep looking at me. It's 
looking at me. Probably out of ammunition at this point. Uh, so let's trek away for a moment. All the JSAs should have gone out. Oh, yeah. Very framey. Very, very framey right now. Oh, yep. Impact. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, everyone. I need to look away from that. My god. Looks like we're gonna be framey, regardless. I'd say they connected. We got someone off our nose here. Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Come to me. Come on. Lock him up. Lock him up. Lock him up. Lock him up. Nope. Doesn't want to do that. chasing them now. Very close. And they're dead. Okay. Well. Make 29 looking at me still. This has got to be him. 10 miles. Ram is just for you, sir. Okay. Clean. Altitude. Altitude. Ooh. Somebody found me. Well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at our F-10. So, as we look at our SA-11 site, there is still so much of it. Everybody attacked this one launcher that was right here. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Wow, I am actually blown away that they couldn't do better than that. Uh, on the upside, we did, looks like they took out a couple of launchers over here on the SA-10 site, Panther. So that's exciting. And this B-1 should have hit this workshop. Looks like it might not have successfully we have 18 still tracking let's see what they decide to do 
At this point, we're just watching. Looks like our front line. Uh, we should have some Apaches just getting there. These guys are... Those guys, yeah, those guys I think I set to arrive on the front line at one hour in. So, yeah, they're just getting there. Looks like they cleaned up most of the larger, like, tanks and stuff. Uh, which is good. That's, that's good. There's, like, some T-55s and stuff. Uh, as long as this Leo can hit whatever this 96B is and not let it get to our Trakesk ARP. Uh, we're good. Let's see what these 18s do. They do have that MiG-29 tracking towards them, however. We definitely lost some F-14s in this, but I'm thinking it was probably a good trade because normally at this stage, the red has had their, like, you know, seed and strike plans grouping up at, like, hold points, like, kind of here and, like, here. Uh, I'm not seeing any of that, which kind of indicates to me that they probably fucking died. Uh, there might be another flight like that that's going to take off. We'll see. After all that, all that ordinance that just hit this, it didn't even kill him. Just impressive, honestly. It's a little difficult to plan these missions with AI, right? Because there's certain things that, like, the AI won't know, like, like Wild Weasel, right? So, if I was playing with the guys that I normally play with, they would know, you know? Like, I could... that They would know to hold while we try to sanitize the area of air defenses. But it's not quite as easy with these missions. Not quite as easy with the AI. This fullback is... <laughs> he's on a mission from God. Let's see. Go ahead and deploy your ordnance, guys. You're not going to get a chance to. That MiG is going to intercept. Deploy your ordnance. Oh no, these guys are in trouble. These guys are going to get mopped up by this MiG-29. Oh, AIM-9X. Are they about to prove me wrong? Oh, they're definitely about to. That Those AIM-9s are going to hit. Wow. All right. They said, fuck you. We'll do what we want. And j -Sow's out. This flanker is just doing it. He's going. So these should be tracking the Panther site. Yeah, they're definitely not tracking the SA-11. Now, will they make it is another story entirely. There's a lot of JSAs, though. Kind of wanting to see this fullback get intercepted as well. Just don't know what's going to happen first. What is this? 
It is a tank. Alright, guys. We just gotta make sure that doesn't fucking reach that far. I will literally close close the match before it does that. I know, it's cheap, but it shouldn't be able to really go that far anyway, realistically. All right, let's see what happens with these JSAs. That is a lot of JSAs. Still, it was only four aircraft. What they're carrying, what four each? So, sixteen JSAs. I mean, that's at least, that soaks up all the tours. But at this point, I think there was already some ordnance sent. So, there's probably not much left to actually, like, intercept those JSAVs. We'll find out here momentarily. Let's take a look real quick. Okay, uh, Tunguska. No, those are the Tor. Okay. There was a couple. Okay, some more. I don't think they're going to be able to do them all. We have a bunch of dead launchers, and we also have a dead flap lid. So, that is an exciting, exciting development. But what else? Oh, just more. More little bits of ordnance. All right, everyone, what's going to happen with this guy? So, the <laughs> gigantic strike on the SA-11 was not, uh, not great. I think... There's only four launchers, I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, I think there was only, like, four launchers. Uh, so we got one of them. So, you know, a win is a win is a win. We'll, we'll take it. But this SA-10 site is officially, officially offline. Um, we'll have to, you know, do some work cleaning it up. But we won't get our big red threat ring anymore. Because that flap lid track radar is done. I'm imagining we'll see these F 14s vectoring towards this fullback any moment.
Everybody's coming back. Looks like we probably lost an A10. Only seeing the one. These guys going into land, I believe. All right, everyone. What's going to happen with this fullback? I'm kind of interested to see what happens. Oh, there's another flight taken off. We're not going to be around to watch that, I'm thinking. Oh, there's a MiG-29 up here. What are you doing? Couple of F-16s down. A lot of flights, RTB. All right, I'm just invested in your future, sir. Oh, oh, this guy. This guy. He's coming to get him. I'm going to try to F2. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect timing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing go up to the stratosphere. Sixty thousand feet, just like that. So much energy still as it's descending. Look at its energy state. Uh, I think that's a wasted missile. I see the guy lower right corner there. Junk missile. This one, though, just came off. Not nearly as much energy, however. Not nearly enough. Yeah, this thing's already freaking burnt out. Let's try this one. Yeah, those M54s, they must be firing it in a short range mode. Because they're not going for altitude. This might connect though. Mm, no, it's not gonna. Maybe. He's still tracking towards it. Ooh, did it catch him? It did catch him. Very nice. Apache's just getting to the front line. 
But I don't think there's too much else to say about this. Um, we had so we had a big success with this SA10 site, and then minor success with this SA11. We'll have to keep chipping away at it. But we are going to go ahead and accept this mission as it currently is. Uh, I don't think we need to watch these guys fly into our air control zone and get shot down. So let's go ahead and close this out. I've been awarded a bronze star. Well, thank you. Close. Exit. All right. So we have 26 aircraft destroyed. We have 17 frontline units destroyed. And you know what? This line makes sense to me now. Ground units lost at objective areas. That's talking about the SAM sites. I'm now realizing that's talking about, you know, our Panther and what was the other one? Puma. Let's go ahead and accept this and see what it says. Looks like we lost two Apaches. We lost five Tomcats. We lost one A-10. We lost two F-18s. And we lost one F-16. That's a lot more than I thought. Um, but they lost seven MiG-29s, six Su-34 fullbacks, and two JF-17 Thunders. Which brings us to what? Uh, we got... 7, 10, 11, to more than 11. So, I mean, it wasn't perfect by any means, but we did clean up a large piece of this SA-10 site, which is really exciting. And then we'll have to keep chipping away at Puma, but we'll be able to do that from different higher altitudes and such. Uh, so, that being said, I hope everyone enjoyed watching. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save this as it is. And I will see you on the next mission. Bye-bye now.